Well, good morning. It's uh, August 28th. Just leaving my house here in Oxford, Ohio. Beautiful Oxford, Ohio. Starting our 20th season. So it's a little bit uh, surreal and uh, kind of emotional, actually. A lot of things going through my mind right now from years past and really excited about this group that we got coming in and on our way to the beautiful Gaganai Center for day one of 2018-19 season. Their name has helped define the sport of collegiate hockey at the highest level. Their identity can be found in a single word, the brotherhood. It's all about hard work, okay, let's go. A storied program annually listed among the elite, driven not only by their past success, but by the expectations placed upon them. Game time, it's in the bag, you better believe it. We all play for one reason, show out dominating this season, it's time. Take that dub with us, so we leaving. You not with us in the streets and brave. I turn it up for the season. Game time. It's the season 2018 Miami Hockey. Amidst an endless sea of rolling hills, an hour north of Cincinnati, sits Miami University. While it shares a name with the U, about the only thing it has in common with South Beach is a tradition of winning. I've never been one to say, hey, we want to make the national tournament or win a championship or anything like that. I think those are all things that, you know, in the back of your mind, you always think about and you, yeah, I think you have that goal. But my expectation is that every day we come to the rink, every day we do anything off the ice, on the ice, classroom, we do it to the best of our ability and we push ourselves to be better and we hold ourselves accountable. While it's been said that a team takes its personality from its head coach, Nowhere could that be truer than in Oxford, where Enrico Blasi is set to begin his 20th season on the bench for the Red Hawks. We take a very holistic approach to the growth and maturity of our guys. Uh, it's not just about the hockey. Yet the anticipation for the 2018 campaign could almost be compared to Blasi's first. Well, the tradition here is is something that we take very seriously. The players that have come before us have, have left their legacy. And I think what's important for us is, is we want to do that same thing for the next generation of players that come through Miami. Um, I know the players that are here right now haven't left the championship yet. No one on this team is a championship. So it's extremely important for us to, you know, leave here on the right foot. Got it, baby. Got it, baby. We come to Miami wanting to be champions, and it hasn't happened for us yet. So for this senior class, it would, it would mean everything. As I'm getting older, I'm starting to realize, you know, there's not a ton of time left maybe. You know, you never know what, when the next opportunity, if, if you're gonna play after college, if you're gonna get hurt, you really never know. And being my fifth year in college, you know, I, they're not gonna let me come back another year. And so I'm just trying to make the most of this year, have a lot of fun, compete, and, you know, walk away with the title. Right here, gentlemen, please, right here, please. TRX push-ups, we have them set up here. One-legged squat, guys. What I want us to do, this is for our hip. When we're up here, I want you a nice, hard three count coming down. So it's one, it's two, it's three, and it's up there. I want to make sure we control that knee as we lower it there. So again, nice, hard three count. Overseeing the Red Hawks' off-ice development is a man who is no stranger to hockey success. Out of it, out of it. Fold it underneath there. Fold it underneath for that cross under. Performance coach Ben Eves was a national champion at Boston College and had a nine-year professional career. I some days wish I could do something else or had other interests, but none of them come close to the passion I have for the game. And uh, you know, now it's passion for the boys that I have opportunity to coach, to see them have success. I used to do different stuff in the stability ball, just have you reach, have you activate some stuff on the backside, try to leave this alone a little bit. The son of a former NHL player, Ben knows firsthand that Miami's success on ice will be directly linked to their discipline off it. I can honestly say I, I've not been as excited for a season to start since my senior year at Boston College. Um, there's an energy uh, around us. There's a defiance around this group, especially the, the returners of, 
uh, just the disappointments that, that we've had as a group. And I don't know where it's going to take us, but I'm really, really excited to see where it goes. Stay focused, pay attention to detail, work your butts off, let's keep the energy high. All right, let's get better. We want to try to get to that perfection. I don't know what that is, but you want to be perfect at everything that you do. And in getting there, we're going to continue to get better. In getting there, pursuing that perfection, we're going to get better. Make sure the communication is still really good. Okay, let's go. For Coach Blasi, a native of Ontario, Canada, and the son of Italian immigrants, the value of hard work was instilled at a young age, along with the love of the game. They instilled a lot of good things in us in terms of work habits and uh, just making sure we didn't take anything for granted. And that kind of value set has been with us uh, since we were born. And, um, and growing up in Toronto, uh, hockey's the number one sport. Drive, 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 drive. He would come to Miami in 1990 to play for head coach George Wozdecki and quickly set about putting the program on the map. We went from winning five games my freshman year to winning the league our junior year. And no matter what happens in Miami University hockey history, that team is the team that proved to everybody that you could win, but you have to put the work in. And this is the way you do it. Push the pace, here we go. Push the pace. Push the pace. In 1999, Blasi was named the youngest head coach in Division I hockey at the age of 27 and quickly turned the program into an NCAA powerhouse. Achieving a top ranking in 2006 and back-to-back -back Frozen Four appearances in 2009 and 2010. I felt like we needed to kind of stand out a little bit and you know, we're, we're recruiting against Michigan, Michigan State, Ohio State, Notre Dame. How are we going to separate ourselves and how are we going to brand ourselves where, you know, we're different? And, I, and the brotherhood thing always stuck with us. Rebound, score! After a stretch of dominance that lasted nearly a decade, in 2013 the Red Hawks moved to the highly competitive NCHC Conference, home to the last three national champions. You should be right here. Puck's in the corner, you see our D-man going down? Stand right here. While they captured the league title in 2015, it is a renewed attention to detail that will enable them to do it again this season. So this is our time to reevaluate what we're all about, to reevaluate how we do our business, to reevaluate our core values and, and who we are and what's important. I believe we're at that stage right now. Coach Blasi knows a return to dominance comes from a return to their core values and re-establishing the brotherhood. The last couple of years haven't been fun in terms of wins and losses, but as I look back, necessary steps in re-establishing and refocusing our program on how we do our thing. It's such a program with such rich, rich tradition and rich history that, you know, you have expectations. To aid their resurgence, Coach Blasi has brought in an entirely new coaching staff full of enthusiasm. Our tendency as a goalie, which I get, I know, is like, right? But why? What's the difference in coverage if we're here or we're here? I think hiring Peter Menino, a young, energetic, passionate uh, go-getter. There we go. There we go. I think those are things that are necessary to be a good, good assistant coach. And he brings a lot of energy. Every day he's got something new. The more you go back, the more chance they have to beat us, right? We all know this. So even on these, when you make that initial save and you're coming across, lead with your gloves and keep them in front of you. Minding the net for the past two seasons is Ryan Larkin. Ah! A player who has shown no adversity is too large. Going into this year, we're really redeveloping that culture of what the brotherhood truly is. He had a great summer. He's re-transformed his body, his mindset. He is joined by graduate transfer Jordan Uhelski, or is his teammates name, Uhaul. Track that in, right there. 
you're coming across and you got to take a little bit more, right? If you have that time, boom, you make that save and you're sliding across and you need to just pop a little more to get in front of them. Try and adjust. All about depth, depth adjustments, right? Hall's energy is contagious. There you go, nice. Something he hopes will influence his younger teammates. Where I came in, everybody was calling me U-Haul. Kind of just got it from my last name. Um, but as of late, everybody's been calling me Juice, the Juice. Because uh, every practice, you know, I'm bringing the energy, I'm bringing the juice, it's just non-stop. Catch, good, nice. You guys can get there. You're gonna get there, hey? You're gonna get to more of those. Here we go, here we go, let's go, let's go, let's go. One touch, first touch pass, right? You guys are going. If you pass to the winger and, the, and you're the option, I want you to go. Don't slow down, go. If the forward is standing still and you can beat him because he can give it to you and you're gone, then go. Don't worry about staying behind. Let's play offense, right? Let's go. Start with red. River, you got it? Here we go. Good energy, we're doing a lot of good things right now. They are led by a pair of seniors, Grant Hutton and Josh Melnick. Both had the option to turn pro after last season, but returned because of the brotherhood. A big thing here at Miami is leaving the program better than you found it. And for us seniors and even the rest of the team, no one here has a championship yet. And the guys that have come before us, our senior class last year, they'd won a championship. So we know that it's extremely important to the guys that are gonna come after us, uh, that we leave that legacy and we uphold the tradition that Miami hockey stands for. The brotherhood is, is a lifestyle. It's something that we all live by and something that is so important to us that we want to do everything we can to continue to make it special. Both those players had opportunities to leave us, and, and they didn't uh, because of that care level they have for this program and for their teammates. Their leadership is a further testimony that the building blocks of the Brotherhood are firmly entrenched. No, we're done. Cards just score like that, we're done. We're trashing the last drill, we're done. Okay, great job today, boys. Make sure you take care of yourselves. We're getting ready again tomorrow. Work on three. One, two, three. Work! Hey, two, two, three. Hey, hey, hey.